Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Lourdes and the name of this channel is Knitting Season. I am a new knitter. I only started knitting last year, early last year, and I decided to create this channel to be able to connect with uh, other people who might also be new to knitting and to be able to um, share my knitting journey and encourage other people who are also started starting uh, into this hobby, I suppose. Uh, I last posted a video a couple of weeks ago and I hadn't been able to find the time to uh, make a new one. So here I am today. I have three things to show you and I also have a new acquisition. So if by the end of this video or the middle of this video or at any point you uh, enjoy this, uh, I would um, encourage you if you'd like to subscribe and maybe give me a thumbs up. So this kind of content uh, is uh, able to um, be shared with other people who might also be uh, interested in it. So. Let's get started. Oh, before we get started with um, what I have to show you and to talk about, I want to show you this top, which is something that I showed in my last video, which is something that I have finished recently, and I am currently wearing it. So this is called EC Cable Tank, and it's a design by Angela Han. Sorry, I have uh, my notes here. By Angela Han. It's a very um, comfortable top. I made it in cotton and uh, it came out really nice. I mean, I was surprised <laughs> to be honest. I was shocked. I received many compliments on it and I'm very happy with it. I just, uh, yeah, if, if there was anything I could do differently, maybe um, I would have practiced the seaming more for the shoulders. But otherwise, I'm very happy with it. Um, I definitely got practice in seaming. The one of the things that I will show you um, uh, in a little while. So, um, hopefully, my skill and in, in that has progressed. <laughs> so, um, so first thing that I want to show you is uh, something small, and. I decided to make some uh, dishcloths as a sort of like a palette cleanser. And I think that's just gonna be my go-to uh, project between finished objects. Like if I make something a little bigger, then I'll just make a couple of dishcloths. And just, it does feel really good to be able to finish something small and make it <laughs> rather quickly. So you might remember um, in one of my previous videos, if you've seen them, I don't know if you have, uh, I made this uh, circle dishcloth and um, this pattern is called Grandma's Almost Favorite and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. You make it in one piece and then you seam it together and, uh, to make a circle. So I wasn't too happy with how this one came out because it was my first time seaming something and I don't think uh, I did a very good job. So I decided to try again. I used thicker yarn than the one I had used previously, and I think I also used uh, a bigger needle, right? I think, because for this one I used a size seven, right? And I used just regular um, Lily Sugar and Clean Cotton. It's still a little stiff because I literally just finished them. Um, but I think they came out super cute, so I made three, these two. And then I made this one with just some leftover yarn that I had. So this is just Lily Sugar and Cream. The color is called Acru. And this one's called Teal. And then this one is some leftover from, um, let me see, Peaches and Cream. I really, really love this color. I don't have any more of it. Um, so yeah, I just seamed it. I think uh, I might have done a better job than the last time. Maybe I'm too critical. This one, I think, came out pretty well. I'm still working on it, you know. But it's good to be able to develop that skill. 
if you have if you guys have any suggestions for um seaming techniques uh videos and stuff you, you can leave them in the comments below if you want so yeah i'm happy with those the next thing that i have to show you is another dish cloud. this one is a sort of like lacy pattern and the designer is Anne Eliasson. I'm not sure if I'm pronounce pronouncing that right. And the name of the pattern translated is Ida's Heart. I'm keeping uh, just the, these and this until I made the video. I was keeping them in my um, Clara Rose Crafts small drawstring bag. I love this bag. This is the fish fly that I made. I guess it's just like a panel, right? This is made in cotton also. This is Old oh Baby Organic by Lion Brand. And I believe the color is um, coral. I love, I love this color so much. I think it came out really good. I haven't uh, blocked it or anything. I'm sure if I blocked it, it might lay a little more flat, I guess. Um, with this, it's just the repeat and then, you know, yarn overs and it wasn't too complicated. And, and I'm surprised at my, in myself when, <laughs> I'm very surprised, surprised in myself when I make something like this and I realize, you know, maybe two months ago I would have found it very difficult and now it's just like more in intuitive to be able to work on it. So that's, in moments like that is when I realized that I have made progress however small right <laughs> and that you know taking small projects like this really helps me in building the skill and i realized you know the method that i'm using to i guess uh, learn and progress has been paying off even in small increments so i'm really happy with this for this i used the size six needle i think i used the needle one size bigger than recommended in the pattern and I have to tell you that I woke up the other day and I realized because I have all the project pages on Ravelry, I will link them all below. And so anyway, I um, realized the other day that the designer sent me a request to feature my picture on, on the project page. And I can't tell you how much that made me smile when I saw that. It's something so small, you know, it's not, it's not really a big deal, but um yeah it just made me made me happy to to see my picture being used on the on the page so other people some it might help other people um to be able to, to use that as reference for their own projects and yeah okay um moving on i'm sorry i feel like i'm losing light so i'm trying to brush this to be able to not be completely in the dark. The next thing is something that I had shown in my last video. I'm pretty sure I had just casted it on. The sun's going back. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, I had just casted on this and I was able to finish it. This is called the Streamline Tank by Alexandra Tavell. For this, I use Lion Brand's Trugal which I bought at the beginning of quarantine, I think. There's a video of me you know, showing that. And this yarn is so soft. It's just like incredibly soft. Like I just, I just want to rub my body in it all the time. And it's sort of like cool to the touch, maybe because of it's, it's so bamboo bland, but I really like uh, working with it. So here's the top, it's a tank top. And this is my first time um, knitting doing a project where there was a lot of knitting through the back loop to be able to get this and it's also my first top because i've made uh several other tops some of them were made using a uh, magic loop and this is the first one that i made that was actually just two pieces kneaded flat and then seamed together i was a little apprehensive at first but you know uh seaming it wasn't that bad at all i think i did a pretty good job um, I still have to work on making the invisible seams for the 
cast off. I haven't figured out how to how to do them. Cause I, I get like one seam in the middle, and I don't know what's up with that. But you know, I don't I, aesthetically, I don't mind it. I did not make any mistakes making this top until the end, so I was very surprised. <laughs> and this was this actually went by really fast. Um, what would I make different in this? I think it's a little short. I am learning that I have to, I have a preference for longer uh, torsos. So I think from now on, I'll just add, you know, like four or five inches to any uh, top construction because what ends up happening is that it's wearable, but for my preference, I prefer to be a little more covered up and um it's still it's still cute but you know i did make the back a little longer to try to compensate for that and oh the mistake that i made <laughs> this one i thought i was seaming it in the back and uh, i totally wasn't so i have like a, some like a random piece here where i was trying to hide the the end and so it ended up like showing here because I thought I was doing it in the back and I like, totally wasn't. You should pay attention next time. But you know, I'm the kind of person that's trying to just roll with any mistakes and I mean not to dwell on them too much because in the past I would have just like ripped it off completely. But it's not really noticeable, like no one's looking at it. So I think it's fine. It's just better to just finish something in my case at least i feel like it's better to just finish something and just try to make space for whatever next thing you make right so yeah that's the project i'm pretty happy with and that's all i have that i have worked on and finished i haven't started a new project yet because I have a project in my queue that i wanted to start and i wanted to use the new yarn that i acquired and uh, for that i just wanted to be able to finish this video first and then show you the yarn and then maybe in another installment i can um show you something finished or at least you know work in progress with that yarn if you hear any tippy tappy somewhere that's it's just my dog she she's she's sitting against the tripod right now Okay, so the yarn that I wanted to show you is this. Let me show you a pretty one. Is this Katia Linen. Sorry if it's backwards. This is a color number 12. It's 50 grams. Um, and they recommend uh, size three and a half to four US, uh, no sorry. They recommend the US five Five, US size five or six. I buy four of these at the local store. This is 93% cotton and 47% linen. The color is kind of, I don't know if you can pick it up. Yeah, it's kind of like greenish, sort of like army green. Yeah, but I'm very excited to use that and the thing that i wanted to use it on is a project that i have on my queue that i want to start right away it's called the gemini 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 tank by jane richmond i'm sure it's a very popular popular pattern and this would be my first time not making a sleeve this tank top like this just making it like t-shirt sized. I'm very, very intrigued. <laughs> I will have to let you know how that goes in the next uh, video that I make in a couple of weeks. I'll be, I've been trying to make an update per month. Um, I think I'm pretty okay with that level of content at the moment because of the pace that I work in. Um, and I hope you guys are okay with it. <laughs> with it too right uh, 
so yeah we'll be using that yarn for that top and uh, by the next time i talk to you it's probably gonna be finished and i'll probably have started maybe something else so i'm not trying to set myself up for anything <laughs> right now that is it yeah it is like i said everything will be linked below I will also be linking my Ravelry page if you want to follow me. That's my social media at the moment. I don't have any uh, pages otherwise that you can follow me except, you know, my YouTube channel. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you enjoy this content, uh, consider subscribing, I guess, <laughs> if you want to. And uh, consider giving me a thumbs up. And, um, you know, I really appreciate any support that you can give me. So thank you so much for watching, take care, have a great week, and see you in a couple of weeks. Bye!